Good morning, everyone, and wishing you a blessed fifth week of the season of Easter on this beautiful morning. You know, back when I was in the seminary, I had a classmate who had a coffee mug, and on the outside of the mug was written the words, tough times never last, but tough people do. And those words were a source of encouragement and strength to us during finals and the study week prior to finals. It can be said, of course, that St. Paul was a tough person. We hear in this morning's reading at Mass a continuation of chapter 14 of the Acts of the Apostles, where Paul, in speaking to the early followers of the Lord in Lystra, originally was well received, but then they turn on him after hearing from other religious leaders. Paul is stoned, he's dragged out of the city, and he's left for dead. And what happens? He gets up, he brushes himself off, and he continues to preach the good news. I mean, this is a real example of Paul, at this moment, almost giving his life for the Lord, which he would do, of course, at a later point. And yet he continues on preaching. He does not shirk from that mission, from that task that the Lord had given to him. In fact, Paul was to write in his letter to the Philippians, I can do all things in him who strengthens me. And Paul wrote those words while he was suffering in prison. Certainly St. Paul knew in his heart the peace of Jesus Christ. At the Last Supper, in today's Gospel, Jesus says, Peace I leave you, my peace I give to you. St. Paul knew that inner peace in his own heart and life. And that peace, the peace of the Lord and the presence of his Holy Spirit was Paul's source of encouragement and strength and courage. You and I deal with our own challenges in life. Certainly there are many. And yet Jesus offers to you through holy baptism that same inner peace that he gave to St. Paul. Our God is not distant. He is with us in the church and ever by our side. Peace I leave you. My peace I give to you. God may take away at times, but the Lord never stops giving. In the midst of our own struggles and difficulties, may we, may you know the peace of Christ and the consolation of his Holy Spirit. God bless you.